Hey guys, I'm currently in southwest France in a giant old French house with a friendly English couple. I'm a worker wayer, so that means I work about five hours a day, six days a week, doing lots of gardening, so my back really hurts. But that's okay, because I get one day off and I get free food and free lodging, which is pretty amazing when you're trying to save a bunch of money. I was inspired to make this video because, one, it's my day off and uh, not doing anything productive. They're out there gardening and sweating and I'm in here just kind of sitting around, well, booking train tickets. But my second reason is because I have been dealing with transportation. Not transportation, psh, blah. It's been such a shit time trying to figure out which city to leave from which city to arrive to, and sometimes you get trains not arriving in the city you want to or not at the time you want to, and sometimes those trains cost your entire, you know, head of hair or something. It's really frustrating, especially if you're booking, like me, about mm, three weeks before you leave. So, lesson number one, <laughs> do not leave it to the last minute. If you do even li like to live by the seat of your pants, that's fine. I'd love to know how you guys do that because you probably spend a lot of money or you just hop on someone's truck and say, hey, let's be friends. Basically, what I'm trying to say is just book ahead of time. If you know where and when you're going, especially if you even know the times that you're going there, you know the day, you know exactly which city and to, from and to which cities, just book it. Just freaking book it. You will not regret it. I swear to God. And if you do, it probably hasn't cost you that much money. If you wait, however, dun dun dun. Oh, the prices. The prices will go up. Like, not, well, more like that. They will shoot the hell up because they love to do that and I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my nights sleeping outside in a marsh if I have to spend this much money to get to the marsh. I actually did sleep outside in a marsh one time. <laughs> Don't ask. Let me just give you a few examples just so you know. I'm really serious about this. I think I've learned my lesson. By the way, in case you didn't know, I will reference this a little bit. Blah blah car? Yeah. Blah blah car, b l a b l a c a r dot com, is a website you can use to basically do some safe hitchhiking. Everyone makes a profile. There's reviews, and you just pay the person online, and you meet up with them, tag along on their trip, and it's always, always cheaper than a train. That's the that's the reason why I waited and why I didn't book my stuff ahead of time. I thought I could get it cheaper. In the end, I ended up paying more. Paying for my own stupid ass mistakes. C'est la vie. Whatever. Uh, I would like to uh, explain you just a bit uh, because, uh, yes, uh, is it okay? So there's a train that goes from San Sebastian to Barcelona. Two months ago, 24 euros a pop. I said, this is great. I can, I can book it later. Not a big deal. Like, it's Europe, not a big deal, everything's gonna work out, because I'm not in the U.S., so whoop-de-doo, free spirit, fairy, magical, wonderful life, whoa. <laughs> what wrong was I? I go back to the website, uh, a week ago, and the price is 70 euros. I would rather attach a skateboard with a ribbon to like a giant tractor trailer because there's so many around here and bleed my way there then pay 70 euros to go from one little part of Spain to another little part of Spain. No! That's what I had paid to go cross country. That's okay, and then I was also trying to find an overnight train from Florence to Vienna and I found one for 70, 80 euros. Okay, great. Actually, that's way less than I thought I'd be spending. Yeah. I'll wait. I don't need to book it right now. It's just, it's not a big deal. There's probably going to be a blah blah car. I'm sure, like, why wouldn't you go from Florence to Vienna on a Tuesday? Why not? 
Everyone wants to do that. And now the price of that train is zero. Why? Because it's fully fucking booked. So, you know, can I like hire a paragliding guide to get me from the coast of Italy to the top of the, um, of the opera house in Vienna? I would take that risk just to fucking get there. Like, let's go. <laughs> There's a train that's taking me from the small town into San Sebastian where I'll meet Casey, my boyfriend, and we'll go skippity doo da yippity yay or whatever that is and have a great time. But the train a month or two ago was 12 euros. Hot damn. Thank you. No, I'm not going to book it yet. Why would I Why would I book it right now when I could just wait? I'm sure there'll be a ride for like 5 euros. And then then I can save 7 euros and I can buy lunch one day. I can even buy lunch two days or three. Well, maybe breakfast, lunch, and lunch. But I got really excited because I thought I could save 7 euros. And so I waited. And now it's costing me 26 euros. Stupid. 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 Don't do it, kids. Just play by the rules, okay? Honestly, just go to that train station. You know, cancel my ticket that I have paid up the butt for already. Boom a ride off someone. You know, I'm a girl and stuff. Like, how hard could it be, right? There's no danger here. It's not the U.S. Danger? Danger? Nowhere. But I, I mean, hit you to ride in like Podunk, France, which is where I am, probably would just end up like, eh? Was that the stop sign? Boop. Nevada. Opla. Fun fact. So when older French people get their, renew their driver's license, it's for a lifetime. So they don't have to go back like every few years and get kind of a little checkup. Like, how you doing? Can you see the road? No, you are just allowed to drive until your, you know, appendages fall off pretty much until you're a pile of ash. Also, just, you know, one more little thing. When you book your tickets and you're like, okay, they'll just send them to my email. Wait, I didn't put my email in the form, but they'll probably just send them to my email. I'll be able to print them. No big deal. No, you won't. Even if you write your email address in, you probably won't get them in your email, especially if they're from some like weird shoddy ass site. So screenshot it, put it on OneNote, copy it, put it in Word, or just do that because you're going to spend your entire day like me trying to write in Spanish when you don't speak Spanish and contact the bus people and uh, hope that they find your ticket for which you wrote your passport number. Besides the point, they can easily just not give it to you because you're a foreigner and you did it online. Don't do what I did and spend your day like this. I bought at a French garage sale. They've probably been in someone's shed for like 10 years, but good to me. So tired. Oh, and P.S. Uh, if you want to know more about transportation in Europe, what not to do or how to start, which is pretty much what it can help you with, I guess. And you're welcome to write comments or ask questions. Well, I hope this was slightly useful, and if not, you wasted seven minutes or whatever of your time. Can't get it back? I'm not going to give it back to you. Tough cookies. A bientôt, as I see in French, which means see you soon. Well, let's do it for a walk.
Boris, what do you have to say to Pepper? 